Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are on iRacing in the Advanced Mazda series at the Nürburgring. We're gonna race the full course, the Nordschleife. So this is really going to be awesome. It's only my third race here, I didn't qualify. And we're in P6. There are the lights. And we're off. Okay, so that was the start. We already gained two places. Oh, what is that guy doing? Okay, let's try to pass these guys as fast as possible and go to the leader. Okay, we are in second and we have only done the Grand Prix circuit. So let's see if we are fast enough to get back to corner and try to win this race. So we're here at the Nordschleife, the most difficult track ever. I'm sorry that I didn't talk that much yet. I was pretty close racing over there. Oh, keep it on track. Where did I got the other four X? <laughs> I missed that. Okay, so we're on the most difficult track I've ever raced, especially in this car. It's so difficult to be fast with this car. You can easily drive this course like under the limit. But it's so difficult to race it on the limit with this car. But of course I like racing here. Oh, that was not good. Don't hit the curb there. So behind us they're getting back. Try to push a little bit harder now. So I haven't raced here in like three days. I just did a couple of laps. We're trying to get that good feeling back. We're not losing that much time on the leader, but they are definitely closing in behind us.
I know from my previous races the one who makes the least mistakes not like I'm doing right now will probably win the race or the one with the best pit stop um, I'm not racing that good, making a lot of mistakes right now, but I know my best sectors are still to come. But we're losing a little bit of time now. The exit of this corner is one of the most important exits that you got on this circuit because of the long flat not like a straight but it's all flat now until you get to the next hairpin so it's really important here to get a good exit and the guys behind us are catching in because of the draft And now we're going to my least favorite corner, I don't know, I just can't figure out how to be fast in this corner. <laughs> See the train behind me, oh my god. That's such a long train behind me. I think it's seven cars or something. But the group will split eventually and I'm at the front. I really have to concentrate now. It's a really difficult section of the track. Try not to lose the car. And you hear the tires screaming for help. This is all flat, flat through the corners. I'm missing all the gears. So we not have a big enough gap to the guy behind us. So we probably is going to be all in the draft. And the guy in front of us is really really fast in that section. I already told my fastest section was still to come. And that was the last section before I started missing my gears. Just come already, you're slowing down and... Oh. Yeah, keep it on zero, please.
Okay, so I don't even know how to pronounce the, the guy's name behind me. Arvani Tantonis. That's a pretty hard name. Okay, so uh, we're actually doing a fast lap here. Okay, guys, start fighting, start fighting. We need a gap here. Oops, some middle on the steer there. So the train is still behind me, but I think there are less cars than previous. I can see five cars now. That was some good cornering. The corner is really really fast. We're already six seconds behind him. He's leaving the dream. Okay, let's try to get everything right now. We're gonna pit at the end of the lap. I still have to uncheck all the tires and stuff. I really have to concentrate every time when there is a rough ch section. When I'm having a small gap here. So no slipstream for him. Maybe a little bit, but... The gap to P4 is a little bit bigger. And we're keeping the same to corner. Maybe in the pit stops we can close it. We need some more mid speed corning in there. Another late in, late apex corner. Just go with the flow. Whoa! Almost started to lose it over there. That's not what we want. So Gary is really happy. So I guess Andreas is also really fast on the Nordschleife. He's having like the same pace. Ok, 
keeps the same distance but we're also really not that slow compared to Connor but I think at the end of the lap it will be probably like 10 seconds and that's not what we're gonna make up in one pit stop so all we have to keep pushing keep the gap as close as possible Are we gonna battle for second? Andreas will probably close the gap now in the slipstream. Yeah, we're gonna uncheck the tires. Andreas is getting closer but I hope he can uh, get a gap in the next hard section of the track Don't go out there if you will have some serious trouble. Come on now, we really need to get closer to corner that I think is too fast for us. Had to do some concentrating again. Keep the focus. This is a really hard part of the track. We didn't lose that much time to Connor, but we also didn't made up any time. Here the tires searching for grip, screaming for help. That's what you want in sim racing if you can hear them, they're on the limit. That's what it means. We had a small gap to Andreas, but it's not enough. He will get back to us. One second is not enough, and he will try to pass us because then he's first in the pit. I'm going to go with this. see him coming really really fast um, yeah, he's probably going to pause us so we can be first in the pit oh, no, I think he's going to wait I'm going to put on this
also I have no idea where to start breaking I'm gonna have a black flag I guess no I'm not that's my guy he's over there don't miss him Okay, start refueling. Start. When you have 2.2 laps, we're gonna go. Three. Okay. I hope we're not having a black flag here. We don't say. Did we get any closer? Yeah. The full four seconds. We also have a three second gap to Andreas. So maybe if he can keep that. We will not be able to get back in the slipstream anymore. And let's get some pressure on Connor and try to win this race. I have no idea how the guys in front of us are going to make it. to the end of the lap because it's really hard to do getting three laps in this track with 13 and a half liters they probably got a lot of sleep streaming that was not good. You can go to second there, I prefer to stay in third. To keep a little bit more grip on the back tires. So they don't start slipping out. really attacking right now taking all the curves very hard and Connor is going to have some problems with that lap guy though he's not actually lap but or maybe he's going to get into the slipstream and now he's going to pass him I don't I hope that guy is gonna let us through very fast because otherwise we're gonna lose a lot of time here Little lift here, pussy lift. That was better than last lap. And they kept to P3 go by one second. guess we're having like the same pace mm -hmm. 
maybe the guy in front of us can pull us back a little bit closer to the corner if we can get into the slipstream for the long straight oh no please 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 no Problem mate. We will lost some time here. I hope we don't got any damage because that will slow our speed. Oh, we're not in gear. That will slow us down. I also think Andreas has lost it. He is not behind us anymore so uh, the only way we have to look now is forward and there is has disconnected too bad for him I was not watching him anymore because I was way too busy with uh, Menendez so we know we are fast what's going to come but Connor is faster in what's going to come so we're really gonna push hard on the limit try to get a little bit closer but we're not gonna gain two seconds maybe if he makes a mistake and if we don't make any mistakes You see how much faster faster he is in that corner. I'm losing so much time there. I have really no idea how to be fast there. That was not a, a good beginning. I was a little bit over the limit, too fast for me, but I kept it on track. And, well, we lost again half a second, almost one second in this part of the track. And unfortunately you guys cannot see it right now, but I'm having a new livery. I'm going to lose a lot of time now. Because Connor is right behind that guy and he can slipstream it. I'm having a new livery, I made it myself. And uh, it's a with uh, my new partner slash sponsor it's simsport news you can check it out at the lower back of the screen if 
if you really check out their website it's really really cool I'm also posting some small articles over there which you can read and I'm in the sim racing team sim sport racing team and I hope to get in some big leagues when I get better I still have a lot of work to be faster but so we lost another second in that long straight because Prona was had the opportunity to slipstream behind Gary Missing my corner. Okay, we're not gonna look to the race leader anymore because he's way too fast for us. Instead of that, we'll be watching Daniel and Robert. I know Robert from the Mazda MX-5 World Tour He's a good driver But I don't know who Daniel is so Just try to keep it steady here Keep our pace Keep it on track Let's see if we are faster We are faster I really cut it hard here small break tail break until you see you can make the apex of the corner then release it and start getting on the throttle so Robert is already in front of Daniel I know his pace is going to be higher so we still have to be careful keep pushing late apex over there losing all the track here Again, I need a lot of focus over there, it's a really hard part of the track, one of my favorite parts of the track. And I saw we were getting a little bit closer to corner, but I don't know why, but he's already gaining one second and a half again. And now it's losing again, so... doing weird things push the lift keep breaking till you hit the apex and then go progressively on the throttle and Robert is not really losing a lot so he's also having a great pace here. We just need to maintain our speed. And keep the focus, don't lose it. If you start making mistakes, 
will be lost for sure. The second and the third apex was not completed. It go late in fast on the throttle, but Robert is doing it faster than us. Oh my god. We're gonna start worrying here. Okay, we had a good corner there, that's important for the street here. But next corner is more important. Robert is really really fast. I hope we can keep it above 2 seconds. That's what we're going to need if we don't want him to start slipstreaming on the long straight to the finish. Okay, bye Michael. We didn't lose that much time on corner this lap, only one second and a half. As less steering input as possible there. Keep the speed. I thought we were going to gain a little bit on Robert, but he's back and he's gonna get really, really close. You do not hit that perhaps too hard or you will lose the car. Okay, now it's my time. It's my second favorite part of the track. Push hard, but do not lose it. Whoa, almost lost it there. Gain a little bit of time now. Give myself a little bit of space. Okay, try to go as flat as possible. Didn't lose that much time on Connor, he's probably playing safe. You can see him anymore. Just do not want. Robert in our slipstream. Oh, was really, really fast over there. The tires are screaming for help, but Robert is not going to get close enough. 
You see the castle on the hill? And Gary is really happy again. I think our gap to Robert is big enough. He had the same pace as we do. The only thing I hope is we got enough fuel to accelerate out of the last corner. Let's check about that. Yeah, okay, we will have enough fuel. We only have to make sure we don't lose it in the last corner, so take it easy. Okay, so we're at the finish. That was it. We're in P2. And a really good last lap. We're able to keep off Robert. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, if you're still here, make sure you check out my Drive Drive channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked it and then you will see me back for some more stuff on iRacing, Gran Turismo, Seto Costa maybe, so guys, see you later. See you guys on track.